What up, Nerd Nation? Awesome Nerd back here with another video. And before I get into this, I want to say there may be spoilers from Blood of Olympus, but I don't think it's anything that'll, like, change the overall book. Like, really minor, but if you don't want any spoilers or haven't read it, I suggest you stop watching now. Okay, so first, um, I want to say this was made for a challenge on Drawing Amino, the weekend challenge, where you had to draw something underwater that's not usually underwater. So I wanted to draw this scene from Blood of Olympus where Percy and Jason go underwater and meet um, the goddess of violent sea storms. I can't remember her name, it's like really long, it's like Kim Lofia or something? I'm not saying that right, I'm just gonna call her Kim. So she's underwater making a big storm to disrupt the Argo too, so then they go down to try and stop her. And I thought it'd be really cool to play with lighting and just like draw her because she's a very interesting character but not very pivotal for the entire story, so that's why I don't really consider her a spoiler, but... Yeah, so basically what's happening right when what I'm drawing is she's standing next to this magical device that when she moves it, it shoots a like, beam of light up to make the storm stronger. And then Percy and Jason come down and like, hey, you're ruining our ship, could you stop please? And then they fight and stuff, but... I also tried a different style with this one, as you can kind of see already. Normally, I do kind of like a skeleton sketch where I just get the basic shapes down and then make a second sketch where I add details and base colors and shading on top of that. But for this one, I decided to block in colors and then go shading on top, which I think it looks cool and it was fun to do, but it took a lot longer. And I don't think it looks as nice as some of my other pieces. Like, the shading's not as noticeable and you have, it takes a long time to build up color because you do it on the same layer, if that makes sense. I mean, I still like it, and I think it's not that bad, but I'm probably going to stay with my normal style for more time, but I still like it, and I still think that it looks cool. It's more painterly, but I'm kind of shifting away from it painterly style just because I got tired of trying to blend in all the colors all the time. So what I like most about this painting in general is just the overall color scheme and kind of like creepiness it conveys in a sense. Like... I really like how Kim looks, how she's kind of like staring creepily into the camera and you can just see Percy and Jason's head in the foreground. And by the way, Percy's the guy with black hair on the right and Jason's the guy with blonde hair on the left. You can't see them right now because I haven't drawn them yet, but <laughs> they'll be there soon. So, and then the beam of light, I had a lot of fun with playing with colors, but I don't, I didn't want to keep them in like the colors that extreme because then it kind of washed out from the coloring. And at that point, it's kind of like, you know what, I've spent like an hour on the shading, I don't want to cover it up with just this extreme lighting. Which, I, if I were to do this again, I'd probably go back and add more lighting and more dramatic effects, like make the areas away from the light darker and the areas closer to the light brighter, like you're supposed to do. But I still am really happy with this, nonetheless. Um, I also, one of the downsides to doing this new style is that since everything's on one layer, if you're using the brush tool and paint to a side, and like, especially for her dress, I was making long swooping motions to make her dress look flowy, but it just picked up the colors from the tripod and then other stuff, so then it got brown in the dress and looks kind of weird. So I fixed it up, but it's just kind of a downside because then you have to constantly watch and make sure that it's not picking up colors from other places. I would also change the background. I think when I put in the water, because that's what's behind um, Kim, you can see those seaweed things right now. I think I forgot to add those back in because I don't remember drawing them after I blended together the background, so. And the background's like not very detailed because most of you know backgrounds are my weak spot. I don't have patience to sit and add so much detail to them. Oh, now I'm doing Jason's head, but yeah, it's like... <laughs> After I spend so much time on the face, I'm just kind of like, you know what, I want to be done with this. And then I add like a simple background, like one color or something. But this one, I wanted to do my best because it's for a challenge, and it was from Blood of Olympus, which is like my favorite book ever. <laughs> so, yeah. And I should mention that in the book, when they first meet her, like they are now, the wall in the background is still there. But I really wanted to draw water, and I thought it would add more interest, so that's what I'm doing now, blending in the colors. I tried to add in some green, but I thought... It looked a little weird, so I got rid of it. And then I spent forever trying to make this um, broken wall piece look cool because it was covered in abalone shells, but I didn't know what an abalone shell was before I looked it up. 
and they're really hard to draw. They're like three million different colors and they all blend together nicely. So eventually I just kind of did a base color, then slapped on colors, blend them out, and then copied and pasted. <laughs> Which I think I already did them for her dress around her waist. Those are supposed to be abalone shells. But we're coming to the end of the video, so I just want to quickly say thank you for all the support on the last video. I want to make many more, many soon, and please leave ideas down below for more videos I can do in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.